Hi, welcome to Universal Interiors. I'm Les Inglestead along with my husband Jeffrey and we are doing a beautiful shot outside here in this incredible earth we call home. It's kind of almost necessary these days to embrace the outdoors, especially when you're going to do some visiting. Life has changed a lot in the last few months for some of them. Nope, take that back for all of us throughout the world. Changes made, something that none of us could have saw happening. And with that, gets to gets everything going. And I hope that we can challenge ourselves instead of going to the fear that we'd go to faith. Because fear takes hold, little to old. It takes hold and it keeps on running around that beautiful brain that we've been given. And uh and it, a lot of times it does a number on us. So I just hope that we can share what we look life at through faith eyes versus fear eyes. It's definitely a different time. Is that what you would call it? Definitely a different time. Yeah. Um, nothing like we've ever seen. Nope. And I think every day we have to remind ourselves we can choose fear or we can choose faith. And if you choose fear, um, it wreaks havoc on your mental disposition. Yes. And, uh, and I believe strongly it weakens your immune system. Right. Um, faith is critical at this time because we are facing an unseen enemy. Yep. We don't know where it's lurking. And uh, at the same time, we know we have to be careful. Yes. Um, I'm reminded of, you know, when, when, when David was uh, ministering to Saul and Saul needed David to play his instrument for him. Mm, sure. And then David went and slayed Goliath. And then David became a, a commander in Saul's army. But then Saul became jealous of him and then David had to flee. Yes. And then David was running and hiding. A lot. Running and hiding. Not so much because he was afraid, but because he just wanted to survive, right? right? And I feel like that's kind of the mode that we're in. We're running and we're hiding from an unseen enemy. Yeah. It's, it's an enemy that we can't face head on. We can't just brazenly go into environments where it exists unless you're a healthcare worker as brave as they are right. and just expect to be able to walk away without being affected by it. So we are kind of running and hiding like, you, like we are. Um, we're being very, uh, careful about mm -hmm. what we handle, what we touch, what we bring into the house, you know, I guess because we just want to survive and we don't want to get sick. But faith is key um, in, in keeping a very positive attitude. That's ginormous. I think that's just so important to all of this that surrounds us. As you were saying, you know, that we're, we're kind of that idea that you shared beautifully about David and w these times, Again, no idea. Nobody's lived through these times. But think way back when you're describing um, that that had to be like fear, running, hiding. But at the same time, David is said he's a man after God's own heart. So he lived out faith. He still did some wise things to keep himself in the right place. But he was after God's own heart. And that is a place of dependency. That's a place of, I am so trusting that you got this, God. I don't get it. I don't think anybody can say they his, get why this is happening. His life had been turned upside down. Saul wanted his head. And so Yet he's that, that was he's his new normal. King. Yeah. Right? That Saul wanted him dead. Yeah. So he, he, was, he was put in a position where he absolutely had to trust God with his circumstances, and that's what he did. Yep. He wrote about it, he sang about it, the Psalms are, you know, are... Yeah, that's so brilliant too when you say that. That just can, makes me think like, people that are tuned into their newspaper, tuned into the news, watching the reports on COVID, watching um, whatever it might be. I turn on the weather channel for Pete Six and you hit an app and you see where COVID is. You know, it's just like, you can be aware, but not so 
deeply aware that it's taking away from the beauty, the life, the joy that we really still have. We have to step down and be firm about this. I just really believe we have to be firm about finding something good in each and every day, of course. But what will ultimately come around? I am blown away. Sometimes we'll just go super slow on commercials or repeat something because you see these people working together. You see these people giving to another that they don't even know their neighbors. I mean, there is, if we can think on stuff, something like that, let's do that. Let's think on that which is good. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts deeply right now. I'm thinking of this month especially, college graduations, high school graduations, parents anniversary parties, weddings. There's so many things that you could just be so mad about. Well, I happen to know a few girls that are getting married and you know what? They're not being mad. They're just still going to get married. They're going to, it's just going to look different. But they are, what they're doing is walking by faith, walking, trusting that I guess this is what it's going to look like. Yes. Right? Exactly. And if I may, I would like to make a suggestion. Um, turn off the news. <laughs> Literally turn it off, okay? You have enough information about what's going on and how to, how to protect yourself. Turn off the news. It has become completely politicized. It, um, it's a wrecking ball for your brain. It really is. It's a wrecking ball for your faith. Turn off the news um, because it's so disruptive for your mind um, and your but heart yeah. and for peace of mind. Oh my goodness, when we decided we, it was enough, enough was enough, um, we're, our days are filled with happiness. It really, it, it was like a 180 almost in terms of, wow, I, I really feel good. And, uh, and I wasn't even following too much because that's how I am. Well, out of curiosity, you, yes. you're always like, you know, or I hit, like channel I said, surfing you can, and, and, right. and listening to it, but it's like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I mean, because we're families all so on top of each other during this in the last couple months. Jeffrey and I, we're older. We get each other. Majority of the time, that's what we get. And it's incredible. Believe me, over 40 years, had no idea it'd be this great. So there is some positives to this. I mean, there really is, right? You, you just yeah. find new, simple, childlike things to look at. Right. But those with young kids or those that can't see their parents because of the nursing homes. These are crunchers, but you don't need a news person to tell you how bad this is. You right. know what? There's so many brilliant ways. We shared Easter, Zoomed, with our family. It was incredible. I was in Colorado. I was down in Minneapolis. I was right here. I was in Moorhead. I mean, We celebrated my dad's birthday by going to the nursing home and they brought him to the glass and we all gathered outside the glass with our Sun, signs and cars, we sang and love. we loved on him and he was so blessed by it. So there's, there's ways to do there's it. There's ways. We just have to figure out how to manage the new norm. And, yeah. uh, and, and honestly, talk, talk is good, but if they can see by example, so that's what I'm going to challenge you. I know that I speak with some of you that are in your home by yourself and you haven't seen your kids because they can't come over. I mean, that's got to hurt. But there are really cool ways, things you can do. You can pick up a paper and write every one of your grandkids, perhaps your daughter or your son or your old friend. Just write people some old memory. Send a postcard. Do something like that. That'll get your mind off from something else. Write yourself. Start writing a book. Who knows? There's a lot of beautiful things that go on in every one of our brains, but I would love to touch on something that Jeffrey said. It doesn't fear, wreaks havoc, but what it does to our brains and what it actually does to our body and the whole being, it sh starts shutting down. Our brains can't work the right way. They don't, they're not designed to work out of fear, right? Yes. And that is something proven over and over again. We have right now in front of us, opportunities to make our worlds a little more beautiful. And we don't know how much time we have left. We might have a month, we might have 10 years. Yeah, but, but nobody really knows anyways, right? But what's left of our time, I want to live it full. Full. Yeah. I want to live life to the full. And I don't want to be influenced by other people's opinions about how awful things are. Yep. It just doesn't help. So unless it's good, shut it off. Walk away. Say, mm, 
pick up conversation another time. Any which way that works for you. But we would love to just challenge you <laughs> to please call to heart, to mind, to your whole being, all the gifts and get outside. Just the season to celebrate sunshine and love. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks, Jeffrey, for being with Thank me. Thank you for inviting me. All right. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it.